Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm starting this vlog in a rather different location this morning. Alex and I have come for a lovely romantic weekend away. We've actually been invited by the hotel themselves which I'm really really excited about because they are a Hampshire hotel that I can't believe I've not heard of before and we've already had a little bit of a walk around the grounds and it is beautiful absolutely beautiful so we've come for a little overnight stay at solent spa which i am so so excited about because i can't tell you how much i need this spa treatment i am really really excited i have been going quite hard at the gym recently this week and with regards to just like exercise and running and things like that and i do feel like it's catching up to me this weekend and i'm just so ready for a weekend of just exploring wandering around eating good food and then relaxing chilling by the pool and finishing off with an amazing treatment which i am so so excited about so i'm just in the room now alex has just gone to go and get our bags from the car so i thought i would give you a quick room tour before he comes back with the bags and we mess up this beautiful beautiful hotel room so as you can see it's got a gorgeous sized room we've got like a little sofa over there just to chill on which is really really nice and this bed i cannot wait to jump into tonight i am so excited i also love it that we've got the tv opposite at the bed because I'm never against a little movie night in bed after a lovely meal. Um, also love the fact that we've got a little writing desk up here with a very nice mirror which I always feel like is so hard to find. So I am always so appreciative of a lovely big mirror. We also have a full length mirror over here which is really really nice because it means I can show you my full outfits of the day um, which I'm wearing today in my Holland Cooper coat which is just my absolute favourite, my little cope Kate which Cope Kate? Cape, Cope Kate. Cape Coat. <laughs> that is a tongue twister and a half. Um, I'm just absolutely in love with this. We've gone for the like brown accessories today, the real like brown tan vibe. So I've got my little Marlboro bag, my duo boots, um, and just a lovely black roll neck to keep me nice and toasty warm. But I love the fact that I can give you like a full outfit mirror because there's nothing worse than hotels that don't have full length mirror so this makes me very very happy and um, we've also got like a little coffee station over here do we have anything in the mini fridge oh oh yeah they did say they've got two jugs in here one for milk and one for water and we can just have complete free reign to top them up which i love because there's nothing worse than having to use the little capsules for your milk for like a morning cup of tea so i love the fact that we can do that um cupboards and we've got a lovely big wardrobe in here as well which is really really lovely oh robes always love being able to put on a hotel robe and then the bathroom is also absolutely beautiful they've really gone for the kind of like on the coast theme because it is very far down um in hampshire very very close to the coast we've got a lovely big bath behind us and a shower and as you can see a lovely huge mirror which always just makes me so so happy so i think i can hear alex coming back with the bags now so we're just gonna quickly unpack and then i think we'll head out for a bit of an explore here's the little milk and water station which i just absolutely love so you can just a top up help yourself to some fresh water or fresh milk i've never seen that in a hotel before but i think we're just gonna go have a little wonder and explore i absolutely love the artwork on the walls as well they just have so many gorgeous like individual artists paintings love these little strawberries oh my god they're so cute alex is walking further and further away i need to catch up <laughs> perfect timing just after we've done a little explore and kind of lap of the grounds the heavens have opened and it's just started tipping it with rain so we're gonna jump in the car and have a bit of a drive around the kind of local area because i don't know this area all that well considering it's still in hampshire it's really nice to explore somewhere new and um, behind me you've got a few other parts of the hotel so these are some like lodges that they offer and then there's also like a little pub just down there which we might have a drink in tonight before our dinner because we are booked in at the i'm gonna assume it's called fire restaurant f y r 
fire potentially but we're booked in at the fire restaurant tonight for dinner which i'm really really looking forward to so we might grab a quick drink at the pub down there because it looks like a really really lovely just like really wholesome pub i'm just waiting for alex to bring the car around now there he is coming to rescue me in the rain he's a good egg well, if this isn't just a stereotypical autumnal day, then I don't know what is. We've got serious sunshine and showers today, but we've realized literally two minutes away from the hotel is, don't know if you can see behind the sign behind me, but is Whiteley Shopping Center, which is just a really, really cute little shopping center full of basically all of the best shops. We've got an m &S right in front of me, Costa Coffee, we might grab a quick drink. So we thought it'd be nice just to spend the afternoon here and have a little wander around and a little bit of a shop because it's literally two minutes around the corner it's just such an amazing location i can't believe it oh my goodness me the highland poo section in next is just the cutest thing ever i actually get so many of you that dm me and send me links to these like this is a little doorstop i think they call him hamish the highland poo and so many of you always send these to me which honestly just makes me laugh so so much because you know me so well i love my highland poos I'm not gonna lie, I think we need him. A Highland Coo Christmas decoration. Oh my God. I really am becoming my mother, buying like the tackiest Christmas decorations I can find. Like really silly little ones, but he won't both. There we go. <laughs> He's just too cute. He's got a little triple on everything. Sometimes everything just gets hotter. Feeling like I'm missing some parts. They just keep on getting a little bit later now we've had a lovely afternoon just wandering around and exploring whiteley doing a little bit of shopping and i'm not gonna lie i may have taken home hamish the highland crew i just could not leave him behind and the second i showed him to alex he was like well he needs to go on our christmas tree there is no question about it so i have brought him home with me but we've just come back to the silent spa now and we thought we'd check out the little pub that's on the corner it's such a cute little vibe thought we'd stop have a little drink and just shelter from the rain so let's head inside so it is a little while later now we have literally just had the loveliest like afternoon evening just chilling in did you ever catch the name of that pub i don't think i actually saw what it was called no i didn't no i can't remember what it was called um but the little pub that's like just kind of on the outskirts of the solent spark area it's so cute and i think a lot of locals do really like it as well because there was a lot of people coming in to just grab a drink have dinner like it was so so lovely and just like a really nice chilled out vibe and especially on a rainy day like today it was so so lovely um but we're back at the room now and it is getting very dark outside already and i thought i would just do a quick little makeup top up for dinner tonight i've just taken off all of my jewelry and all of that jazz um so i think i'm going to start with a little bit of concealer i am loving the bobby brown skin concealer at the moment it's just such a lovely i need something that has a mirror i always forget to bring like a spare mirror with me whenever i go away to a hotel um but this one is just such a lovely one because it's really really lightweight it doesn't kind of cake your skin and yet it's a really really great one at just kind of creating that little perfection so i just like to put it on around my eyes um and wherever i kind of like need a little bit of a top up whether it's like blemishes i always find that my makeup just goes on my nose as well um especially because it's a little bit chilly today i feel like i've had a bit of a red nose been blowing it a little bit that's when you know it really is like winter now it just blows my mind how much we've kind of like 
quickly shifted into the kind of like wintry weather but it's really nice especially when you're somewhere as like cozy as this just to get really cozy hunker down and just like enjoy all of the spa and hotel facilities it's so so lovely quick top up of the hourglass bronzer i really do love this bronzer it's so perfect it just kind of like creating like a really nice glow i feel like sometimes i'm not the best at blending in my bronzer and i really need to work on that because sometimes i watch back vlog footage and i'm like wow ellie that really could have done with a bit more blending in and um, what i really like to do is basically take the darkest color and kind of create that initial line that initial like shadow of where i want the bronzer and then i take that lighter color and just really blend it out throughout the rest of my face i'm definitely not someone that does like full-on contour or anything like that but i really just love adding a little bit of bronze especially if it's like for an evening look um and then of course the bobby brown blush and this is kind of all i've been doing with regards to my base at the moment um but i really do love the bobby brown blush i just apply it really high on my cheekbone just to kind of like really pull the eye up it almost gives you like a little bit of a facelift and i really really love it and it's so easy to apply it over the top of makeup like this is literally day old makeup that i am wearing and i'm just gonna chuck some bits on the top i don't know what is going on with this little bit of hair i feel like it's flicking in the wrong direction um but my other technique is to basically go over the top with your foundation brush just to blend it all together and create that really nice like blended look um in terms of my actual um base that i have on i've got the bobby brown vitamin enriched skin tint and i really really love that so obviously i've got that on underneath but i don't really need to like top that up i just need to kind of use my my other bases just to kind of create that like perfected perfected skin look i absolutely love that now for eyes i want to keep it really simple so i'm gonna go in with a product that i've kind of rediscovered recently it's the laura mercier um caviar stick this is in the shade kiss from a rose and it's a really really easy one especially if you're traveling um because you can kind of just use your fingers for it which is what i really really like um so basically i just kind of crayon it over the top of my <laughs> over the top of my eye and then just blend it out with my finger and it just creates the loveliest like bronzy pinky glow i absolutely love it i feel like because of the lighting it's coming up really really harsh but the more you blend the more it just oh it just looks like such a beautiful eyeshadow color i absolutely love it and then of course a little bit of a winged liner so i've just got the bobby brown jenny packham eyeshadow palette and i'm literally just gonna stamp that on to the end of my eye. I also like to kind of take it underneath my lashes because I feel like it really helps elongate your lashes and just create like a little bit more definition. If you apply it more to your waterline instead of like just on your actual eye line, I feel like it just creates so much more definition. You know, this is literally like the easy girl's hack to creating like a really lovely winged liner look and it literally takes five minutes. So it's great when you are rushing to get ready for dinner. And then lips, I'm going to go in for a new favourite combo at the moment. Obviously, you know I love my Clinique lip liners, but the new beauty is the Laura Mercier. This is the, if I can find what it's called, like the Colourpop, what exactly are they called? High Vibe Lip Colours, and this is the shade 123 Blaze, and I really, really like this. It's just like a really nice pop of colour on my lips, but it's still like a nude colour. It's nothing too scary, but it's so lovely for like an evening look, and it lasts all night, like even when you eat, even when you drink, which is what I absolutely love about it. I mean, how much of a beautiful, like, autumnal colour is that this to me is like pumpkin spice in a lip colour. I just absolutely love it. Um, so finally, just going to do a quick little spritz of the Sculpted by Amy setting spray. I love this one when I'm travelling because it's a much smaller bottle and it's so perfect just to apply a little bit of hydration and just make sure that all of my makeup is really nicely set. I um, have quickly straightened my hair since coming back as well because I'm not going to lie, the may rain made it really, really fluffy. So I just need to put on some jewelry spritz of perfume and get myself dressed for dinner so jewelry that i've brought with me in my little monica vinader jewelry case this is so perfect if you're just doing like a little overnight stay um so i brought some favorite pandora bangles i might go for a mixture of the silver and gold because i do absolutely love those obviously brought my vintage inspired watch i think e earrings of this evening 
might have to go for the Monica Vinader Kate Young ones. I absolutely love these. And I feel like, and this is going to sound really weird, but it's almost like they kind of work with the interiors of the hotel. They're not really focusing, but I think I'm going to go for these and then do a bit of like gold, silver kind of hybrid mix with all of the jewellery. Can we just take a minute to appreciate the fact that we have the white company products in the bathroom. I don't think I've ever stayed at a hotel that offers the white company products. How amazing is this? And flowers is definitely one of my favorite, favorite scents. But I've actually just come into the bathroom to show you jewelry because I think the lighting might be a little bit better in here just to properly see what jewelry I am wearing. Can I put you up here? This might be a little bit better. I hope it doesn't, well, hate it when it does that. Sometimes the camera tries to like auto adjust if I'm like on a bit of a, a tilt with regards to um, the angle, but we're going a little bit of pearl tonight and a little bit of gold. So I've got the Kate Young earrings in, which I just absolutely love. So you can see they're kind of like half this kind of mahogany wood and half gold, which I feel like just works so well with the vibe of the hotel. You would have seen the reception earlier and it's just like so old and wooden and just like really cozy. Perfect for winter like it really does feel like the perfect like winter retreat i've then gone for a little pendant necklace because i feel like it works so so well with the neckline of this shirt when you've got a shirt like this which it's a little bit more chesty than i'm really used to and um, we've then gone for two pandora bangles pandora brilliant ring and of course my vintage inspired watch and shirt wise i've got on the gorgeous zara forest green shirt which i'll give you a full outfit in a second i'm just going to do a quick little spritz of perfume of the evening in fact the perfume that i'm wearing non-stop at the moment is ginger biscuit from joe malone every time i wear this i get compliments it's one of those perfumes that just smells delicious it's the only way to describe it it smells like you could eat it up but in the most sophisticated elegant demure way which is what i absolutely love so of course i'm gonna do a big old spritz of that because there's nothing better Mm, and just smelling and amazing especially when you're going it down for dinner right let me show you full outfit for the evening so full outfit of the evening i feel like i'm looking rather festive which are we ready to start dressing festive yet apparently i am but i do just love the dark emerald green of the shirt i feel like it works so so well with black and i just wanted to not go for an all black outfit this evening because i feel like everything i've been wearing recently particularly with regards to my evening wear wardrobe has been all black so just wanted to add a little pop of color so we've gone for a bit of a pop of color on the lips and a pop of color on my shirt um so i've just slung over the top my little sandra jacket which i'm not gonna lie i get a lot of questions about the jacket with regards to styling and i do feel like it can be a tricky jacket to style with regards to the collar and neckline that you go for underneath but i do feel like it works so so well with a shirt because you've got the juxtaposing kind of like round neckline of the jacket the longer neckline of the shirt i feel like it just works together so i wouldn't recommend going like round and round for me that just makes it feel a bit too daytime-esque it might work for something a little bit more casual but particularly for an evening look i feel like the shirt with the jacket works so so well and then i'm wearing the gorgeous h&m pleated skirt that i picked up when we were in oxford and i just absolutely love how it looks i feel like it pairs so so well with my vivaya boots i feel like this is the kind of skirt that you can style in so many different ways for so many different occasions like because it's not too chilly today and this evening i feel like the sock boots work really really well but as soon as the weather starts to kind of get a little bit cooler the temperatures start to drop i would just change that up for knee-high boots and and I would also even wear tights underneath if I want to be really, really toasty warm. And it just works so, so well. And then back of the evening, I've got my little YSL Cassandra out, which I always feel like, you know, it's like festive season when the Cassandra comes out to play. So this is my outfit of the evening. I think Alex is ready behind me. So we're going to go down and have a lovely dinner at the Fire Restaurant. Can I just say, ladies, if ever you want to get your man an aftershave, that is literally the sexiest thing in the world. This is the Molten Brown Mesmerizing Oud Accord and Gold. And it really is mesmerizing because Alex has just sprayed it on. And honestly, all I wanna do is just give you kisses whenever you spray this. Can we have an appreciation for your outfit as well? Loving it, looking very cute. We're almost matching. I thought you'd gone for green on your top. You should have gone green and then we could have been matchy matchy. <laughs> you look so gorgeous. But yeah, love that aftershoot. Right, we're actually gonna head out now. But... <laughs> Go on then, tell us your fact. Fact about the wine glass. 
The reason why the ring earring has a smaller circumference and so the Why it does like a bell shape. Why it's uh well yeah. Hmm. It's so light when you play the drinks. The rims of the glasses do not touch. So if I I fire two glasses. So well, you can do it with your beer glass. Uh, no, it doesn't really work. The rims do not touch. And thus it is not hygienic. <laughs> Fact of the day with Alex. Love it. And also, it helps the wine breathe more. So I'm sure that well, I've just got rose spritz, so that doesn't need to breathe. I love my rose spritz. There we go. Fact of the day with Alex. Give me another cheers for that. <laughs> and make sure our rims don't touch. Oh, that sounds naughty. What? Our rims don't touch. <laughs> everyone it is the morning after the night before we have woken up to a beautiful blue sky day today which is just absolutely magical although it does mean it is chilly this morning my goodness i did have a different jumper packed but it wasn't quite as warm as this one so i've literally just popped on the same jumper that i had on yesterday and i've gone for a pair of wide leg trousers today because i want to be super comfy super cozy because today is spa day and i'm so so excited about it i actually have a treatment book this morning i've got a foot and leg massage which i think is just going to be absolutely magical because as, as i've said all of the like running and workouts i've been doing recently my legs are feeling so so tight so i'm really looking forward to that but first things first you know I love a hooked up breakfast so we're heading straight down to breakfast this morning which I'm really really looking forward to I feel like there's nothing better than a hotel breakfast just like filling up on like pastries fruit yogurt getting a nice coffee and it's just my absolute favorite so we're gonna go and grab breakfast first and then we're gonna spend the rest of the day just chilling in the spa and I could not be happy breakfast was absolutely delicious always love a hotel breakfast fill myself up on croissants orange juice a lovely latte and i'm ready for my treatment now i'm really really looking forward to it because i've never had a foot and leg massage before so i think this is going to be so so lovely i'm just in the toilets now can we just appreciate how aesthetic these toilets are it's always my favorite thing when in hotels they just put so much thought into toilets um so yeah I'm gonna head into my treatment now and i'm really really excited My goodness me i'm so zen right now <laughs> i've literally just come out to the room and i like just looked at me and went wow that is one zend out ellie that was such an amazing treatment such a good treatment the therapist that i had was lovely as well she gave me a little card with all of the um products that they use i think they use temple spa products which is really really nice and it's always my favorite thing you know it's going to be a good massage when before they start they put their hands in front of your face they're like right give it a big inhale Oh, it was so lovely. I chose the relaxing oil. There was like a different oil that you could pick. It was either like re-energizing, relaxing, or detoxing. So I went for relaxing. Oh my God, it was so, so good. Um, so I've just come back to the room now because we are going to jump into our swimming costumes. 
chuck on a robe and we're going to head out because we actually have access to the hot tub which you've got to book in advance and um, so if you are staying here definitely get that booked in in terms of booking in your spa treatments booking in access to the spa and booking the hot tub um and because it's such a beautiful day i think it's going to be such a lovely way to spend the rest of the morning just chilling in the hot tub soaking in the sunshine i honestly could not be happier right now look at me i'm so sent out <laughs> hot tub ready obviously I'm wearing a Hansa G because do I own any other swimming costumes? I actually don't think I do at this point. <laughs> All I wear are my Hansa G. So I've got my gorgeous little Breton stripe number. And oh my God, these gowns are so snuggly and cozy. So really looking forward to using the hot dog. I think it's just gonna be so much fun. goodness me has it been the loveliest most relaxing day today oh wow the outdoor hot tub was fabulous absolutely fabulous would definitely recommend booking it if you can if you are going to come and stay here so we spent an hour in the outdoor hot tub and then I've basically spent the last like two hours in the pool we've been doing lengths we've been giving it a bit of a steam we jumped in the sauna it's been so so lovely but we are starving now so we've just checked out of our room and we're heading over to the little pub that we had drinks in last night to grab some lunch because it is just such a cute pub it really reminds me of the four horseshoes that we have down near where we live um and we absolutely love that pub just like really like country chic really cute decor the staff there are so so lovely and it's really nice that we can literally just walk over from the hotel so we're gonna go and grab some lunch there and then i think we'll be on the road it's just been such a lovely lovely day just like the perfect relaxing spa break i am gonna be really sad to say goodbye to solent spa we have honestly just had the most insane trip i'm so so grateful to solent spa for inviting us down here it has been absolutely wonderful mm -hmm. 